it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video for you guys and I know that I start off like all of my videos by saying that they're super exciting but today I am really super excited because I'm going to be doing a like meet and greet with my main characters Eva and Eli so you get to know them. I'm going to be showing you some pictures that I found on my Pinterest boards which I have right here and all of my Pinterest boards are private right now by the way so if you try to find them they are not up. You cannot see them but as I add more and more photos I am eventually going to make them public so that you guys can check them out but for right now they are private so the pictures that you're seeing right now are not going to be anywhere else I haven't posted them anywhere else so this is kind of like an exclusive behind the scenes look of what lies above and of my main characters so I'm going to be showing you some images of what I think they look like and then I'm also going to be doing some other fun little things I actually made some little avatars of them and then I'm going to be showing you guys those and then I'm also going to be sharing the theme song for both Eva and Eli each of them have their own little theme song a song that I think really goes well with their character and their journeys and some of the lyrics in them are just so spot on so I'm going to be sharing that song and kind of lip syncing along with it and I'm going to put the lyrics up down here of the lines that really really go with the story so that you guys can kind of get those and obviously I know most of you guys have not read it if any of my betas or CPs are watching then you guys probably know why I chose these songs which would be really cool but if you've never read the book then it kind of just gives you a hint as to what lies above and some of the themes and then again Eva and Eli's characters so I'm super excited to share this with you guys again it's kind of exclusive I haven't showed anybody else and without any further ado let's jump in and get started I'm going to start with the images all right so like I mentioned my main two point of view main characters are named Eva and Eli Eva is short for Evangeline West and she is the like main main character she kind of, the story revolves more around her. Eli definitely is important and their chapters generally alternate. There are a few chapters where Eva has two and then Eli has one, but originally the story was written only from Eva's perspective, so the story kind of follows her more closely. Eli kind of gives like a flip side to the story. His perspective is very, very important. I honestly cannot even imagine how the story ever stood without him because again, it was Whenever I first started querying it my first few rounds, it was only Eva's story. Eli was not even in there as a perspective. He was just in there as like a minor character. So to bring him up and give him his own voice, his own chapters, and his own storyline was super, super fun. And I'm so glad that I did that. And I'm super glad I get to share him with you guys because he's one of my favorite characters now. But Eva definitely has a little bit more, not importance, but a little bit more voice in the story. So she's like my main, main character. So I'm going to share her first. Again, this is Evangeline West or also known generally in the story as Eva and to give you guys kind of like a little character profile about Eva she is 16 years old about to turn 17 and she is a cultivator which in her city means that she works in the synthetic farms where they grow all of the food she lives in an underground city and she is one of the people who grows all of the food for the city to feed everyone and this was her dream job all of the children in this city when they turn 14 go through an election and they are assigned a vocation you can kind of imagine like divergent or city of ember something like that and she wanted Wanted to be a cultivator so she got her dream job which is more than a lot of the children can say a lot of them don't get their vocations or they get what is typically known as like the worst vocation which I don't want to talk about because it's kind of a spoiler but let's just say that Eva definitely was glad that she got that job so it's her job to feed the city and for the most part of her life for the 16 or almost 17 years that she's lived in the city she's grown up there they are forbidden from asking any questions they don't know where they came from they're origins and they most importantly don't know what lies above on the surface hence the title and so she's kind of shrouded in a lot of secrets and again they're forbidden from ever talking about it but as you guys can probably guess she does question she does kind of bend the rules in the city and that ends up getting her into a lot of trouble a lot of deadly trouble and so that story follows her and I don't want to get into too much about what happens in the story. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I'll just leave it at that. That the story kind of follows what happens after she starts breaking all of these rules and questioning where she came from and once she starts unraveling all of these secrets. So, for the first thing, I'm going to show you the image that I think really, really sums up Eva is kind of like what I imagine what she looks like in my head and this is actually an actress. I don't typically like to cast my characters with actors or actresses because I really only see them as the characters that they play in movies or TV shows already. However, this image 
is so spot on for what I think Eva looks like. Her hair, her facial emotions, and even what she's wearing is super important in the story. Again, I know you guys haven't read it, but just take my word for it. It's super spot on. And this is the image. And this is Lily Collins, if you guys know who that is. She's an actress. She's in The Blind Side. And actually, she was Clary in the Shadowhunters movie, which I've never read any of those books, and I didn't see that movie. But I do know that she played Clary in that. So if you guys know those books, this was the actress who played her, Lily Collins. Collins. And in this image, guys, like everything, and I'm looking at it on my Pinterest board right now, and like everything about this picture is perfect. Her hair length, the fact that her hair is wavy, Eva has really dark hair, her facial expression, and also this kind of like white outfit that she's wearing. In the book, Eva wears a white outfit in a good majority and part of the scenes that are super, super important, and that plays a super integral role in the book. So this picture, hands down, is probably the best picture I found of what I think Eva looks like and a good representation of her. Alrighty, and then this is one that I love. And this is actually not an actor, actress, or model. It's an illustration. And it is perfect. I shared this with my CPs and one of them said stunning. She said it's just absolutely stunning. It looks exactly like what she imagined Eva looked like and what I imagined. And also you'll see it. I'm going to go ahead and pop it up right here. And you'll see like, this darkness and this secrecy. And she has her hand over her mouth and it's almost kind of like protecting these secrets. And also a super important characteristic of why I really love this image is kind of like this icy blue lighting that you see in the picture right here. And that that is super important in the book. I don't want to go too much into detail, but that's a super important color. If you've seen my aesthetic, um, which I shared in my last video and then I also shared on my Twitter, it's pinned to my profile if you want to go check that out. My Twitter is down below in the description box. You can go see that aesthetic, but the color scheme is this icy blue and then blackish gray. And then also she's covered in like these kind of like icicle looking particles or little ice shards, and that is super important to the book as well. So this picture. I just think it looks beautiful, like it's a gorgeous illustration, but it's perfect for Eva. This is probably my number one image that I just love to look at and just use as representation for Eva in the book and of what I imagine that she looks like. Like if there was a photo, it would be this picture. I mean, oh, it's perfect. Alrighty, so now we're going to move on to the realistic images of Eli, which Eli is short for Elijah Young. and. He, again, is my second point of view main character. So the first image that I have for Eli is one that, it doesn't really show his face that well. And sorry, I'm trying to look, bring it up on here so I can see. It doesn't really show his face that well, but what he's wearing, his hair, the background, his facial expression, like everything about it is perfect. And it is this image right here. And to give you guys kind of a character profile of Eli, he is a soldier and he lives in this city that they call the Colony and he is responsible for discipline and that is like a really weak word but basically his job is anytime that there is a runaway a traitor or any type of crime against the government it is his responsibility to enact the punishment which is generally whippings so there's a different like amount of lashings for each crime and it's his responsibility to whip any of these criminals so obviously that is not a very wonderful job to have it's very dark and that definitely affects his character but he does it to protect his family and again I won't go into like all the details of that but Eli is such an a complex and wonderful character and obviously I'm the author so that's kind of biased but I, when I say that I mean I loved writing him. He was so complicated and just to like follow his path and his emotions was so interesting because again he wasn't originally a point of view character. Eva's story was already there and I just went in and added all of these chapters from Eli's perspective and their personalities are so different and seeing that kind of like juxtaposition of Eli and Eva was so interesting to write and he really dominated his story. I feel like I didn't do a lot of planning, I just jumped in and he really narrated his own story and I absolutely loved it and I really love the kind of like darkness to his personality because he doesn't want to be this kind of like villainous character 
but he does this again to protect his family and so I love that complication and that conflict in you know his heart of trying to decide like is this right am I am I a villain or am I a hero and I love that about him and I think that this picture really kind of sums up like this soldiery look with him looking up and again he has really dark hair and he kind of looks like he has like this military outfit kind of on and so I just really love this image for Eli and oh I'm looking at the rest of my little character like profiles and I wish I could show you guys but for now I'm just going to do Eva and Eli and again if I do another video like down the road um, which hopefully I do want to do that and I can show you guys my whole cast but I'm going to wait and do that until hopefully you know I'll be querying within the next month or two and I would love to do that video if I did sign with an agent you know later on down the road if that did happen then I would definitely love to share my whole cast but for now I'm just going to stick with Eli and Eva and I'm going to now move on to showing you guys these fun little illustrations that I did and actually they're not really illustrations they're avatars I made these on the Funko website which if you guys know what Funko Pops are they're like these little figurines they kind of look like bobbleheads because they have huge heads and they're like these little figurines that you can get for book characters marvel characters like just anything pretty much that you could think of there's probably a funko pop for it i do not own any funko pops i really wasn't that into them and i'm still not really that into them until i found out that you can actually get funko pops customized and you have to pay for these generally on like etsy there's artists who will do them but you can actually get a either blank Funko Pop and design it yourself or you can pay somebody to customize a Funko Pop of your characters and I thought that that was just so cool and like again later on down the road if I do end up getting an agent and book deal for what is above I think it would be so fun to have a little Funko Pop of Eli and Eva but you can actually do something that I think it's called Pop Me or something like that I can't exactly remember what it's called but if you go to the Funko website and you like sign into your account or make an account or whatever if you go up and click on your profile picture there is like a drop down menu that comes down and you can click on pop me or customize me or whatever it's called it'll probably stand out it says something about me like popping yourself or something and you can actually design a little avatar of yourself but I did it and I designed them for Eva and Eli so I actually designed these little avatars of what I think that they look like and there's only so many accessories and hairstyles that you can choose from and you can't change the eye color or else I would have made Eli's eyes green but you couldn't customize that but I did make them to kind of just give like a little fun um, representation of what they wear because especially Eva has on an outfit that looks exactly like what Eva wears in the book and I just thought that it would be super cute and super fun to show these because it's kind of like a complete 180 from the realistic pictures that I showed you and so I made these the other day and I think they're cute so I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to pop them up right here this one is Eva and then this one over here is Eli and especially Eva's picture she wears this reddish brown leather jacket which is super important to her it's like her favorite piece of clothing and it has a really important role in the book as well so I just love that I could customize her to have on this outfit and then this one is Eli and like I mentioned he's a soldier so in the book he wears a dark blue military uniform Form. it's not camouflage and in this picture it is camouflage however I think it still really looks like what Eli would wear and his hair looks really really similar to what I imagine Eli looking like again I couldn't change the eyes or else they would be green Eva's eyes are brown but Eli's are green but again these are just kind of more cute fun little things I thought it'd be fun to show you guys that these are my little Funko people I guess for Eva and Eli alrighty so last but not least is probably what is going to be my favorite part of the video because I think this is just so unique and fun and I've been looking forward to doing this and that is to share the theme song for Eva and Eli. As I listened to my Spotify playlist there was two songs that really stood out to me and each one of them I felt like really represented each of my characters and so I'm going to share them with you guys and again I'm going to put up down here the lyrics that really coordinate to what lies above and so I'm super excited to share them with you guys and I'm going to also do my best to kind of like lip sync along with them but I'm not exactly very good at that so we'll see how that goes but let's get started let me see if I can find the first song all right so Eva's theme song is I don't know if you guys can see this but it is called all the king's horses by Carmina 
And this song is absolutely perfect, especially the first lines. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and get started. And again, the lines that really coordinate to what is above will pop up down here on the screen. And I am going to be putting this song in the little squeaky voice because of copyright and whatnot. So hopefully you guys can understand the lyrics. But again, that's another reason why I'm going to put them down here, the important ones, so that you guys can see what she is actually saying in the song. All right, let's get started. So that was for Eva, and excuse my awful lip syncing, but that was Eva's kind of theme song, and every time I listen to it, I just imagine like if it was kind of like a movie or like some kind of film in my head, I can just see Eva's story just like flying before my eyes to that song. I just think that it's so perfect for her character, and the lines that I put up on the screen right here I think are just so spot on for her character and you guys can kind of get a little idea again you haven't read the book and I'm sorry if you had you probably know exactly why this song is so so just good for her character but that kind of gives you a sneak peek so now I'm going to show you guys Eli's theme song which is actually probably pretty surprising you guys probably would not think that I would pick this song for him but there's one line in particular in this song that 
it literally sums up his whole story and it's just perfect and that's one of the lines I'll put up right here but again it's kind of more this is kind of more to me these are theme songs because you guys haven't read it but hopefully one day you will that's obviously my dream is that you guys will be able to read what was above one day and then maybe you will know exactly why I chose these songs all right so the theme song for Eli is Human by Christina Perry, and this is probably so surprising because you guys are like, what? This makes no sense. But it does make sense, and you'll see in some of the lines why. And I will maybe give you guys a little bit of background after I play this song so you'll know a little bit of why I did choose it. But again, I don't want to go into too many spoilers, but I will give a little bit of background afterwards. So that is the theme songs for Eva and Eli, and again, I know it's like terrible lip syncing, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And now we'll give you a little bit of background for Eli of why I chose that song. First of all, like I said, Eli is a soldier and he does some pretty horrific things in order to protect his family and to keep them safe. And I feel like in that song, there's like this conflict of somebody doing something for someone that they don't want and you know they kind of play the part but then they're still a human and they still feel emotion and they still bleed and break down and crash to the ground as she said in the song and I feel like that's so perfect for Eli because he does all of these things for his family and yet he's still a human he still feels that pain and that emotion of the things that he does and also there's one line in the song that really made me choose it 
And it's the line that says, be a good machine. And there is something that happens in the book that relates to being a soldier, and it has to do with machinery. And that line just stands out to me so much because Eli gets involved with this kind of machine soldier. And it's just, oh, it's just such a perfect song. I feel like these two songs were made for Eli and Eva. And so those are why I chose them. And those are the two songs as their theme songs. And that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and getting to meet Eli and Eva. And I know this wasn't a ton of things, but hopefully seeing their pictures, hearing their theme songs, and getting a little bit more behind the scenes about them as characters. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And like I said, I would love to do a full cast video sometime in the future, but it definitely will not be for months and months. And again, it will depend, I think, on how querying goes. I would love to do a video if I did get an agent. I think that would be a cool little celebratory video. So that is all for today. And I hope that, again, you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I would love to hear y'all's character theme songs. If you have any, I know that some people have like Spotify playlists for their books. Leave them down below. I would love to hear those. And yeah, that's all that I have for you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. All my social media is down below if you would like to check that out. And again, if you want to see my aesthetic for what is above, just head over to my Twitter page. That's linked down below and you can check that out. It is the pinned tweet up there on my profile and I hope that you enjoy that. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.